Imagine this. The sea levels have soared by an astonishing 216 feet. Coastal cities are swallowed up, iconic landmarks are drowned, and vast stretches of land are consumed by the unyielding advance of water. This is not the stuff of science fiction. It's a grim possibility sketched out by scientists. If all of the ice on Earth were to melt, the impacts on coastal communities, the sweeping ecological shifts, let's dive into the monumental changes our planet could face if we don't get a handle on climate change. Buckle up as we journey into the future of this scenario. Now, if all the ice on Earth were to vanish, sea levels would rise by an eye-watering 216 feet. To give you a sense of scale, that's about 33 feet taller than the first floor of the Eiffel Tower, or roughly the height of a 23-story building. This dramatic rise would submerge vast areas, including much of the west coast of France and parts of the Mediterranean coast. The Rhone Valley would face severe flooding, reaching as far inland as Montargis. A northern French coast would also suffer as well, with water potentially reaching cities like Amiens and Paris. But this isn't just about France. The ramifications of complete ice melt would ripple across the globe, fundamentally reshaping coastlines and ecosystems everywhere. On the continents worldwide, the dire consequences of such an event are becoming clearer. Imagine the heart of Australia, or the banks of the Amazon River in Brazil, both facing the threat of submersion. While these specifics would vary based on factors like water rise rate, soil type, and natural barriers, the overall picture is stark. Visual representations show us just how devastating these changes could be. Beyond the areas immediately submerged, we're also uncovering vast submerged landmasses that were previously overlooked. These discoveries highlight the transformative power of widespread ice melt on global geography and ecosystems. Today, much of Greenland's breathtaking landscape is hidden beneath thick ice, masking its rugged terrain and majestic mountains. Recent research has given us a rare glimpse beneath its icy cover, revealing vast stretches of rocky terrain and geological features sculpted over millennia. This hidden world, preserved for centuries, offers a glimpse into nature's wonders. Similarly, Antarctica conceals a mysterious landscape beneath its expanse ice sheets. Researchers mapping the terrain have discovered mountain ranges, valleys, and ancient geological formations. These findings reveal a unique geological history and biodiversity that have been hidden by ice for ages. If we imagine a world where all Earth ice melts, both Greenland and Antarctica would undergo significant changes. The removal of the immense ice weight would cause the land beneath to rise, a process known as glacial isostatic adjustment. Over time, this would reveal more of the land's surface, potentially altering coastlines and ecosystems globally. Understanding these processes enriches our knowledge of Earth's history and emphasizes the dramatic relationship between ice, land, and sea in shaping our planet's landscapes. According to studies, removing the ice would eventually cause larger portions of Greenland and Antarctica to rise above sea level. This long-term effect, known as glacial isostatic adjustment, means the land would rebound as the ice melts away. Before delving into whether a 216-foot sea level rise is possible, we need to understand where all this water would come from. Currently, about 10% of Earth's land and 6% of its oceans are covered in ice, including large ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica. Let's revisit a simple experiment with two bowls of water. In one bowl where ice cubes float on top, the water level rises noticeably as the ice melts. In the other bowl where the ice cubes are submerged, the water level doesn't increase. This mirrors what happens on Earth. Melting sea ice, which is already floating, doesn't contribute to rising ocean levels. The real rise comes from melting land-based ice reserves like glaciers and ice sheets. Intriguingly, the IPCC reports that melting permafrost could contribute to a sea level rise of 1 to 5 inches. If all the world's glaciers melted, we'd see about a 16-inch rise. Greenland's ice cap melting entirely would cause a 24-foot rise, while Antarctica's ice cap alone could add up to 190 feet. Adding these figures brings us to a staggering 216 feet we've discussed. While this scenario once seemed plausible, the IPCC now suggests that extreme 
rises are less likely, but still possible. By 2100, sea levels could rise up to 6 feet, and by 2300, they could exceed 50 feet in the worst case scenarios. However, immediate action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions could limit the rise to about 20 inches by 2100, and between 20 inches and 10 feet by 2300. The melting ice will have profound implications beyond just rising sea levels. It threatens animal habitats, alters ocean currents, and could compromise drinking water supplies. Glacial meltwater mixing with salt water can affect groundwater sources in coastal areas, leading to freshwater shortages. These cascading effects show how far-reaching the impacts of climate change can be. Consider the devastating effects on wildlife. Many species that rely on stable ice environments would face extinction. Polar bears, seals, and penguins, to name a few, could lose their habitats entirely. Ocean currents, which play a critical role in regulating global climate, could be significantly disrupted. The alteration in these currents could have unforeseen consequences on weather patterns, potentially leading to more extreme weather events worldwide. Communities around the globe would be forced to adapt to these new realities. Entire cities might have to be abandoned, leading to mass migrations and significant economic upheaval. Agricultural regions could be lost to the sea, disrupting food supplies and leading to shortages. Coastal infrastructure, from homes and businesses to critical utilities, would be at constant risk of flooding. As we contemplate these scenarios, we must ask, what will remain of our silk coastal cities and landmarks if these projections come true? Can we ignore the transformative impacts on our planet's geography and ecosystems? And most importantly, what actions can we take now to steer away from this uncertain path? The questions compel us to rethink our relationship with the environment and underscore the urgency of collective action to protect our world for future generations. The answer lies in immediate, concentrated global efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, transitioning to renewable energy sources, implementing stricter regulations on industrial emissions, and investing in technologies to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere are critical steps. Additionally, protecting and restoring natural carbon sinks like forests and wetlands can help absorb CO2 from the atmosphere. Education and awareness are equally important. By fostering a global understanding of the gravity of climate change and the potential consequences of inaction, we can galvanize public support for necessary policy changes. There is hope, but it requires a unified effort. Governments, industries, and individuals all have roles to play in curbing emissions and mitigating climate change. The choices we make today will determine the future of our planet and the legacy we leave for generations to come. And perhaps most importantly, what actions can we take today to save our future away from this uncertain path? Be sure to let us know what you think in the comments below.